Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I am the happiest man on earth right now. What is good internet? It is Spirit of Paradox here and welcome back to another video. And I have got to shout out Matt Triple Nine again. I was literally in the shower when he showed me that screenshot of the cover of the new Ultimate book. Uh, oh man, I was singing in the shower. I was screaming in the shower. I was so happy today. But anyway, and I'm still happy, but we're going to talk about this. So, ah, oh, I just want to say, this cover looks fantastic. It, oh, just beautiful. Look at that. We've got Ultimate Iron Lad there. we got Ultimate Thor. we got that crappy Doctor Doom. we got Ultimate Wasp and Captain America. Ultimate Lady Sif. And obviously, the elephant in the room, in, oh, well, obviously on the picture, Ultimate Giant Man. So... Let's talk about the cover first before we get into the nitty gritties about what we're going to be seeing. I've got an article also sent by Matt999 as well. Thank you again, my dog. But this cover, bro, ah, it, it, it screams ultimate. So if we really deep it, right, even though this is a new universe, and i got to remind people, this universe is a mixture of Earth-1610 and Earth 616. And I've actually got another theory about that. I've got another theory, but I'm going to talk about that in another video. But when I look at this picture or this cover, it looks like the Ultimates, even though you do see a lot of differences here. The new design for Ultimate Giant Man, I'm not complaining. I actually love the original Ultimate Giant Man suit, but my only problem with it, it's brown. Mm -mm. Uh, no, I, I never liked that color scheme, I'm gonna be real. Suit was cool, but I prefer like the white and the red like this. So I think, yeah, this one, hopefully, I, I need to see the rest of the suit. But based on the helmet and obviously the shoulder pads there, I'm seeing a little bit of MCU um, Ant-Man. I'm seeing a little bit of classic Ant-Man, but I do see a smidge, like a smidge of Ultimate Giant-Man in there. Like with the whole modernized take, like we ain't out here looking like he's wearing like thin spandex. Like this looks like a suit, like you could Kevlar kind of suit, you know what I'm talking about? Kind of MCU-like. So I really do like that design of Ultimate Giant-Man here. Then obviously we got Lady Sif, we got Ultimate Captain America, who does look very MCU based. Like the suit, the suit wise, they did say, um, the suit wise, it, no, they didn't say, the suit wise, it looks very like MCU Captain America. But they did confirm in the Ultimate Universe one shot that Captain America was unchanged. And that was quote from crappy Doctor Doom. So this Captain America, so far from what Jonathan Hickman said, it's the same Captain America. So you damn well know we better get those badass quotes like what? Surrender? You think this A on my forehead stands for France? Yeah, I love that quote. Yeah, oh, we gotta bring that quote back. Trust me, dog, man. Um, so Ultimate Captain America, he's good. I, I know he's the same. Ultimate Thor? relatively the same but he's damn near perfect in my opinion the suit perfect it's ultimate thor jonathan hickman knows you can't change the ultimate thor suit but dennis camp you can make me the happiest happiest man if we can get ultimate muni please i understand jonathan hickman don't like stormbreaker screw that guy if we could get Ultimate Mjolnir, Ultimate Thor is perfect, perfected. There ain't nothing you can do to top it. That suit, his personality, still the same. Still the same. I'm just missing the hammer. I mean, I mean, he's not... I mean, relatively, Thor was as guardian in the Ultimate Universe, but Ragnarok happened, and he died in that, and that's when he became reincarnated into a human. Loads of people forget that. Ultimate Thor was as Guardian, so yes, but 
he died. So Ultimate Thor, please, that's all you need to do. That's all you need to do with him. Just give us Ultimate Thor, or Ultimate Thor, Ultimate Mjolnir perfected. Mm. Now, Ultimate Iron Lad. You see, I like the design. But I don't like the concept because it's like, isn't Kang always supposed to be Nathaniel Richards, even in different universes, except the Ultimate Universe? I've always thought that was weird when you've already got established lore on Kang and based on how he becomes Kang, he all, like, Nathaniel Richards always becomes Kang. I mean, in the last Ultimate Universe, it was Susan Storm from an alternate universe. But here it's Tony Stark. It's like now he's going to become a villain in the end. Or is it Howard Stark that becomes Ultimate Kang? Because we never know. It could be. I doubt it. But overall, when it comes down to Ultimate um, Iron, Iron Lad, he pretty much is Tony Stark. He's just... Well, Antonio Stark. He's pretty much just young. But then again, I would say... Howard was really Antonio Stark in Ultimate Invent. If we really deep it, Howard Stark is basically to Antonio Stark from the Ultimate Universe. It's just his dad, but yeah, I don't know why they did that. But still, I would like to see the old Ultimate Iron Man suit come back. I love that suit to death. That's actually my favorite Iron Man suit. I, I, I can't, I'm a bit biased here because... Me being an Ultimate Universe fan, I, I have got to admit, that's my favourite ultimate, my favourite Iron Man suit. Right behind that is the Superior. I believe that is. It's the Superior Iron Man suit, the one with like when his face is out and he becomes a dick, and the, with the white and silver armor. Marvel Legends actually revealed that action figure. Would you guys like a review on that? Please let me know, cause I, I'm buying that. But um, yeah, like Ultimate. Iron Man suit was always my favourite. But what I want to talk about now, now that we've talked about the cover, the cover's fantastic. I can't wait for the comic to release. June 5th is going to take like 16, 10 years to get here. But I don't know. Come on, man. June 5th has to hurry up and come because this is my most anticipated book. Now, let's talk about the article. So this is the article. Also, shout out to Matt Triple Nine for sending me the screenshot and the link to this article. So we're going to read it off here, and we're basically going to break this down. So the title: The Ultimate Universe's Mightiest Heroes Assemble in Ultimate Issue Number One. Spinning out of Jonathan Hickman's Ultimate Universe Issue Number One. Dennis Camp and Quan Gregory's Ultimates launches in June. Following the blockbuster series launches with Ultimate Spider-Man, Black Panther and Ultimate X-Men, the highly anticipated next title of Marvel's new U Ultimate Universe arrives in June, The Ultimates. Directly spinning out of the foundation for the new Ultimate line, Jonathan Hickman and Stefano Cicelli's Ultimate Universe one-shot, Ultimates will be written by Dennis Camp, who is known for his thought-provoking and socially relevant work on the titles like Children of the Vault. I actually have read one issue of that, and that was, um, I think it was either 2023 or 2022. And I read an issue where the Maker's City of Tomorrow Dome had an Easter egg in there. That was the only issue that I had read of Children of the Vault. I'm not sure if it's the same one, but there was one brief little Easter egg and you could see the Maker's City in the background. So I have read something from this man. And he's also done this uh, 20th Century Men and drawn by the rising superstar, Quan Fregory, who is known for his critically acclaimed work on Invincible Iron Man. I have seen some of the artwork on that. Um, I watched a, a few videos from Comics Explained who did videos on those. I'm not sure if it was the same one, um, but I did see some videos from him last year. Is that the same run that uh, Quan Fregory had drawn? If so, some of the artwork in that was straight up fire, including the Alex Ross covers as well. 
The series will introduce a new superhero team that will usher the next chapter of the bold storytelling within the new Ultimate Universe. It's not really new. It's just uh, 1610 mixed with uh, 616. And here we have some, some of the plot. Months ago, Tony Stark sent Peter Parker a radioactive spider. I mean, you could have just... I know uh, I had a subscriber who said he didn't mention anything about the Oz formula. That is true. Uh, I mean, in the Ultimate Universe, they tried to, like, move away from the concept of radiation. Be because really, we all know what radiation do. You ain't mutating into the Hulk. You, you, you turning into, like, radioactive pus. But, yeah, we all know they tried to go a bit more realistic with it. But we all know the Oz formula had something radioactive in there based on how comic logic works, but still. But anyway, Tony Stark sent Peter Parker a radioactive spider to send him back on the course to become Spider-Man. Since then, Ultimate Iron Lad, Captain America, Crappy Doctor Doom, Ultimate Thor and Sif have begun to do the same for other lost heroes. Building a network of super-powered heroes hungry for change. Now, they must band together to destroy the Maker's Council and restore freedom and free will to a world ruled from the shadows. The new Ultimates line is the most exciting superhero comics event in years, and it's humbling to be a part of it. Camp shared, we are reinventing these classic characters and archetypes to be something surprising and vital as when they were first introduced. Our ultimate is an evolution, not just for the Avengers, but of a whole superhero team concept from the grand operatic to the small and personal. The ultimates will feel like, will feel like no Avengers or Ultimates comic ever before. But, but what do you mean? The Ultimates are the Ultimate Universe Avengers. You act like these characters are so drastically different. That they're, they're the same team. I, I really, it, it, this, I know this is like fluff talk to prompt up the comic, but it's like you're making it sound like this is some grandiose change when we, we just want the Ultimates. But anyway, um. Who like no other comic ever before? This that's our ambition anyway. Tune in to find out if we succeed. Dennis Camp, my dog, you're gonna succeed. It's the Raspa Ultimates. They're the baddest there is. They fuck up everybody in the Ultimate Universe. You send the Ultimates in. You don't send in the X Men. The Ultimates were the top team, as they should always be. Anyway, in 2002. Mark Millar and Brian Hitch's mega-influential Ultimate series revolutionized the superhero epic and its impact is still felt today. Oh my god, he's saying the right things. I completely agree. I still read the Ultimates to this day. I own them. I got them on my Rascart shelf. He's saying the right things. Oh my god. Why have I got to wait till June? No! Anyway. Anyway, still felt to this day. Now, 20 years later, Cap and Gregory returned to the, uh, the Ultimates to the greatness with a modern take for a new world and a new generation of readers. Hmm, okay, okay, that's a little bit worrying. You know, when you hear the words modern take, you know what that comes with? The message. <laughs> nah, I'm just fucking with you. I, I don't fuck with them people, but no, well, I fuck with Critical Drinker, but I don't fuck with the people he's talking about. But still, I don't care. You know, if you could keep the identity politics out and just keep it focused on a good story, I won't care. You know, just stay out of that, big man. We don't need to know about politics. That's not what we're paying you for. We want to pay to see the ultimates. That's what we're paying you for. We don't want to see no Ross Club real life politics. We want to escape it, run away from it, and just enjoy your fantastic stories. But anyway, let me continue. So, 20 years later, Cap, we said that already, and now we have a quote from either 
Juan O from Dennis himself. So on a personal note, my first big break into comics was winning the Miller World Talent Competition. Oh my gosh, we got somebody who knows, who knows Mark Miller. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm sold. I'm so, I'm fucking sold. Alright, so this guy clearly knows Mark Millar, and Mark Millar clearly knows this guy. Alright, cool, cool. So we know why I want this respect here. Respect is being given to the source material. I, I, I can't ask for anything more. If you're gonna give me a new universe, if you're gonna give me a new interpretation of the characters, respect the source material and keep the homage dear. You know, keep the ultimate universe ethos there, but also come with something new. Because I want to get something that I know, that I grew up with, but I also want something new with it, if you get what I'm saying. But yeah, yeah. So he's been, he did the, the Mark, no, he was, he won at the Mark or the Miller World Talent uh, Competition. So there is a strange sweet symmetry on taking on the title Mark and Brian pioneered 20 years ago, Camp added. We're doing everything we can to live up to the ultimate's name and the high bar that Jonathan and Mark Cicetto and all the ultimate creative teams so far. Oh my god. He he just said everything I wanted to hear. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm getting the ultimates back. You have no idea. My team. The team that made me who I am today are coming back. And we're getting some new shit with it. Oh. But anyway, now that we've spoken about that. Ultimates One is written by Dennis Camp and the art is by Quan Gregory and the cover is by Dyke Rune. And this comes out by June 5th. And I am excited. We get to see some free comic book. On free comic book day, we're going to see some more information about this. And that comes out on May 4th. You damn well know I'm going to be talking about that. Anyway, now that we've spoken about the article, let's just round this up and end the video but we're going to talk about the last few bits here so that was the cover and the article for the announcement of the ultimates for the new ultimate universe and dennis camp is basically saying everything that i want to hear he has a love for the source material and he has respect for it and respect for the original creators such as mark millar and brian hitch so yeah, like I'd say this is the right guy um, based on what he said. I actually have re read one comic from him. Unfortunately, it's only one. And it was that one issue of Children of the Vault where we see the Dome City of Tomorrow in the background. But yeah, um, I'm excited. There are some characters that I would actually like to get reintroduced again, like Ultimate Ultron. Who was mentioned by a good friend, a good subscriber of mine in the comments on the post. I would like to see Ultimate Thanos come back. Dennis Camp, I understand you want to come with something new. I am telling you, Ultimate Thanos don't need a rework. He don't need to be revamped. If you please keep his design the same and bring him back. He was one of the, the things of the Ultimate Universe that just didn't get the right level of respect and justice because ultimate thanos was really dope but unfortunately got killed off and then put into a time loop to the point where he could no longer return and i think that was very deliberate <laughs> by the writer who wrote that in, Fan in ultimate fantastic four i still need to end that storyline off that's going to be the next video by the way my apologies for taking so long but um yeah, Ultimate Thanos, Ultimate Hulk. I would love to see that like, get a fight scene. Jonathan Hickman robbed us of that fight scene in Ultimate Invasion. Like, oh, I was so excited for that. But for some reason, Ultimate Hulk was green in that in that moment. Can we get an explanation for that too? Like, can we get an explanation of why Hulk turns different colors in the Ultimate Universe? Please. Pretty please, I'm a big Ultimate Universe fan, Ultimate Hulk is my favourite Hulk. And for the most part, he's the same, just a bit more intelligent and a bit more of a dick. 
I mean, I mean, then again, Ultimate Hulk was a cannibal. I don't think you can get any more big of a dick of that, a big, a big of a dick than that. But still, Ultimate Hulk was evil. He's still evil in this universe. I just don't like him being smart. But anyway, um, yeah, Ultimate Hulk. I, I don't want him. I don't really care if he joins the Ultimates. I, I don't think it would make sense if he did. But please introduce Ultimate Hulk. Like I want out that he's already introduced. I mean, bring him into the story. I want to see that fight scene. I want to see Ultimate Hulk versus Ultimate Thor. I want to see Ultimate Iron Lad try and go up against Ultimate Hulk and see how that goes. I want to see the Ultimates fight, like Ultimate Captain Britain. I want to see the Ultimates fight the Maker. I want the Maker to explain that, yo, bitch, I reincarnated this oh, you planet. You got, should be thanking me. You're alive. I defeated your 1610 counterparts and I saved them. I, I doubt the Maker would do that. I think he'd just be more of a dick. But anyway, there's so many ideas, but I've got to make a video about what I want to see. Uh, that's my next video surrounding the, the new Ultimates, is what I want to see in the Ultimates. But yeah, tell me what you guys think in the comments below about this. Are you guys um, fans of the Ultimates? I know not a lot of people were. I know loads of people talk shit about the Ultimates. Like, shut up. The Ultimates were, were fucking fire. Ultimate 3 was shit. And, and there is no justification for that book. It is a depressing porno. No, no justification for that. But yeah, you lot, tear that book apart. Ultimates 1 and 2, Jonathan Hickman's Ultimates and the Dark Ultimates. You leave that shit alone. That shit is fucking fire. But anyway, I will see you in the next one. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Make sure you drop a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and you are new to the channel. And I will see you in the next one. Take care.